Hi, I'm Adeze, and I'm a student at the JKS school, and today I'm going to challenge my dad in the Father's Day Ballet Challenge. Hello, my name is Emeka Okafor. I am a professional basketball player and a ballet dad, and I accept that challenge. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to ABT Kids Daily. I am Adeze's ballet teacher at the JKO school, and I wanted to welcome all of you to try to do this Father's Day challenge on your own. Um, feel free to extend the invitation to anyone you would like to challenge. We're going to start with a little skipping warm up to get our bodies ready. Put your feet glued together parallel. You're going to put your hands on your shoulders, really strong arms, not letting them be soggy. And you're going to do eight skips in place and eight skips in the circle to the right. Eight skips in place, eight skips circling left. So it's going to look like one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and then make a circle to the right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to your starting spot. Eight skips in place. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and circle left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and freeze. Okay, so let's try that. When you do your ballet skips, you have to lift your knee really high, toe to your knee. You guys ready to try it? So put your feet together parallel, hands on your shoulders really strong. Glue your feet together. That's right, it does. <laughs> okay, here we go, listen to the music. Five, six, seven, eight, and circle. One, two, three, four. Good, point those feet. <laughs> Nice, both of you, this is pretty good. And circle the other way. Good, and finish. Arms open, put your feet together. Good, okay, stay right where you are. We're gonna try to sit down without touching the floor. So into first position. Adesa, you can hold your skirt. Amaka, you can put your hands on your hips. Good, you're gonna tom do. Don't touch the floor. One knee down, other knee down, legs to the side, don't touch the floor. And now you can get your legs out, now you can adjust. So you're sitting really tall in a pipe. You're gonna put your fingers on the floor like this, sitting up tall, and we can see you can sit taller. I don't know, it does say that might be a tough one for you. <laughs> We're gonna do flex and point four times. So flex your feet and point, and flex and point, Flex and point and flex and point, and then you're gonna reach over. Four counts, nose on your knees, and sit up tall for four counts. And then one more time, you do flex and point one, flex and point two, flex and point three, flex and point four, reach one, two, three, four. See so you can sit taller, five, six, seven, Eight. And we're not relaxing at the beach, you're sitting up really tall. Okay, so I'll do it with you the first time, but you're sitting as tall as you can with pointed feet. Can you guys scoop? And up. Flex and point. Flex, point, point. Good. And reach over all the way over. Yeah, let's try it one more time. Flex and point. Flex and point. Good, shoulders down. That's it. And now all the way over, can you touch your toes? Reach all the way over. Good, and finish sitting up tall. Good, okay. We are now gonna stand up without touching the floor. So, from here, swing your legs to the right. We can put our hands on our hips. Press up to your knees. This is where you, oh. No touching the floor. <laughs> and this is where you want to present your heel. Good, and stand up. Okay. <laughs> Before we get into anything harder, we're gonna do plies, which is like the basic step in ballet to begin a class. Okay, so we're gonna work on our demi plies in first position, second position, and fifth position. So, when you start, you're standing in your best first position with your arms down, the thumb bot, and your knees have to be glued together. Glue your legs together. 
not your arms, just your legs. And then when you hear the music, Adeze, you can take your skirt, Omeka, you can, you can hold your hips. And we're gonna do our three plies in first position. I'll do it with you. And then you're gonna try and do the second position. We're gonna do our three plies in second position. And then this is the hard part, Tandu, right foot front to fifth position, all the way over that like a Deze. We're gonna do our three plies in fifth position, which I'll do with you. Go back to first position. And then we're gonna do a porta bra that goes right arm front, up, open, down, left arm front, up, open, down. I will do it with you, okay? So just remember when you start, your legs are glued together. Can I see your best first positions? And ballet fingers, arms down, don't fall over. So let's, see, let's see who can stand in first position without falling over. That's the first step. Good, and let's see whose knees are together. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready. So first position, stand super tall. Here we go with our plies. Okay, take your skirt or take your hips. Three plies, keeping your posture. Plie. And stretch. Okay. Keep your posture as tall as you can. That should be no problem. Tall, two. Second position, plie one, two, good, one more. Okay, hey, here's the hard part, we're going to fifth position, right foot front, plie, and stretch. And one more, plie, don't fall over, back to first position. Here's our quarter row, looking at your hand. All the way up, open, bring it down, left arm safely, front, all the way up, open, and finish arms down, standing tall. Okay, good, those are actually really good plies from both of you. Okay, we're gonna do one thing before we start jumping. This is gonna be some sways with some turning. Okay, sway side to side with some turning. So, <laughs> we're gonna start in first position. Same way, when you're in first position, your legs are straight and your arms are round. And when you hear the music, you're gonna prepare by doing a tondu side with your right foot to know that you're gonna go to the right. You're gonna sway to the right, sway to the left, sway to the right, sway to the left. <laughs> And then you're gonna do a turn to the right, turn to the right, and spot your head. And then we go the other way. We go left and right, and left and right. And now we turn to the left and spot your head. And then one more time. So when we start with our sways to the right, we turn to the right. Remember, these sways are really graceful, right? super graceful sways and we don't want to be bending down like that but it's like keeping your posture and bending this way showing second position with your okay should we try it point your foot side and sway two three four Turn to the right, straight legs, spot your head. Swing one, two, three, four. And turn to the left. One more time. And sway. Two. Good. Bend your legs. And turn. Last time by yourself. Swing left and right. Where's your second position? And turn, 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 turn. Good. Arms open and down. Good. That was good. It looked like you guys were actually like, looked like Omeka was throwing a basketball up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, okay, we're going to move to some jumps. 
but these are tricky jumps called spring points. So spring points mean that you really, really, really have to point your feet while you jump. Because only the tip of your toe is touching the floor for this type of jump. You can't put your whole foot on the floor. Yeah, so it's like the floor is burning hot and you're gonna burn your toe if you leave it there for a long time. So in this exercise, we're gonna do three spring points with the right foot, three with the left foot, and then seven changing. So it's gonna look like this. Right foot does one and two and three, jump to first. Left and left and left, jump to first. That's the first part. And now we do seven changing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump to first. Okay, and that's it, it's a short exercise. So it's three on the right, three on the left, seven. And you wanna make sure your arms don't budge. Okay, are we ready to try it? And this is the jump, so you gotta get off the floor a little bit. Okay, let's try. First position, hands on your shoulders, heels together in your best first position. Okay, here we go, three on the right to start. too easy for you guys because you guys both did that really well so I'm going to make it harder we're going to turn the seven of them in a circle so the beginning is the same you do the three on the right you do the three on the left but then we're going to turn to the right two two spring points each side so we're going to do one two face the back three four five six seven close eight so you're turning in a circle to the right. Does that make sense? So start like this. Yeah, two to the side, two to the back, two to the side, one to the front. Okay, I'll do it with you the first time. So let's try it, because you guys did that first one so well. Ready? Breathing, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, now turn, side. Back, side, back. Good, rest, we're gonna do it again. Five, six, seven, go. Good, now turn. Very good. Arms open and down. That was really good. Okay, before we do our partnering, I have um, one thing across the floor. I wanna do like, Four counts of running across the floor and then strike a ballet pose. So you could do, I don't have much room to show it, but you could do like run and two and three and four and stay. Or like run and run and run and run and pose. Or something, some pose that you want to hold at the end with four counts of running. What am I doing? Um... So, when you do ballet runs, you want to run on like not running like you're going to the basketball court, but it's like high dummy point runs on your highest tiptoe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you could hold an arabesque at the end or whatever you want. Yeah. So you have four counts to run and then strike your pose. Let me show you in the music. So it's gonna be like, so if I were gonna do it, I would do like one, two, three, Four and stay. And the next person goes one, two, three, four, and stay. Who's going first? Me. Let's try. Okay. Here we go. You have four counts to run and then strike your pose. Let's see it. And run. Two, three, four, and pose. Beautiful. And go on back up, run. Oh, and pose. Nice. Let's get let's 
Let's try it again. Those are pretty good poses. Okay, one more time and then we'll do a partnering step. Okay. Ready? One more time. And go one, two, three, four, and pose. Good. And run. Ballet fingers and pose. Good. Wow, that was a nice balance. Okay, nice job, you guys. That was pretty good. So I wanted to try like one partnering step. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I was thinking that a Deze, you could be, you could start in like first position and your dad can be behind you and hold your hips. So you're standing in front of him and you're gonna do a big plie, jump in the air, and like split your legs in the air. Do you know what I mean? So, and he's gonna lift you up. So start in first position, a Deze. Good, like you're on stage and open. Yeah, and if he, if he can hold you in the air for like one second and stay, that would be amazing. The music's gonna be like, dun, 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 plie, and lift, and lift, and lift, come down. Again, lift, and lift, and lift, come down. So we do it two times. Here we go. Ready, bend, and hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, and bend down. And again, here we go. Hold it, good. And plie, and let's finish there. Excellent. <laughs> that was before fun. We do, before we do our reverence, which is how we finish, um, we are gonna ask you guys if you wanted to show your best dance moves for the mm -hmm. challenge. Sure. And it doesn't have to be ballet. You can do, if you have like one signature dance move that's anything, this is your chance to show everyone your signature dance move. It can be a little challenge, a dance off challenge. I know mine. I don't know. Mine. Yeah, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do a little, do a little twist, <laughs> a little, run, little running man. So, who wants? Should we go, Dennis? Should we go one at a time or together? Uh, I, I think I think it'll be. Uh, I think it'd be cute to have them fa go go like maybe for like 10, 10 seconds against each other. I think that'll be that'll be cute. Have them both doing it at the same time. At the same time, okay. I think that's I think that'd be cute. Yeah. But I don't have. Should I be playing music for this? No, I think it can just. I think, or maybe they can alternate. Maybe they can. Maybe they can each do one step and then math and, and like go back and go back and forth. Okay, like, that's like a good idea. More times. So like, it's so like a desert. You'll you'll start. You'll do your best dance move, and then a mecca. You'll respond, and then the desert. You'll do something else, and then a mecca. You'll you'll respond with something else. Okay, so we'll just do it to back and forth, back and forth. And okay. you've got some great moves there, so I, I got faith in you. So we're doing our dance off challenge right now. They're gonna compete with their best dance moves. Let's see it. Okay. <laughs> Can you see that? So good. That was awesome. Okay, so the way that we finish class, every ballet class is with a rev round. So we have to do rev rounds together. This is like thanking each other for working so hard in class. I'm thanking you guys for doing such a, an amazing job in the first Father's Day challenge ever. So rev rounds, you guys can just follow me, okay? And we finish the class in your best first position, thinking about everything you know with posture, Standing with strong arms, ballet fingers, and just follow along with me, okay? Okay, you're gonna need some space for your arms. Arms out, and push, and push, and down. One more time, arms out, push, push. Good, you're gonna look at your right hand low. Left hand low 
and you can curtsy or bow. So if you take your hips, everyone, tall of you, and the desert curtsy, so I'm going to you bow like this. And finish your very tallest arms down. Good. Great job, you guys. That was so good. I hope you guys had fun. You did it. You both did an amazing job. <laughs> Me. I, I definitely think she did. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't keep the, she, she took off with the break dance and I was, I was trying to recover ever since. <laughs> you know, it, it was a close tie. It was a close tie. Um, I struggled out here a lot more than I anticipated from the, from the get up, literally. <laughs> Uh, it was fun. Definitely uh, a lot of crossover between, uh, you know, basketball and, and, and LA as, as, uh, I was, as, you know, we were going through the drills. I was like, you know what, this, this would be an excellent workout, you know, just to, you know, from single leg strength, uh, you know, the jumps and then also to just a uh, total body awareness, just being graceful as opposed to just, you know, power, you know, they have, you have to be a mindful of the, uh the emotion or the way you move as opposed to just yeah and i feel like all the coordination that's necessary i'm sure in basketball like is it crosses over well with ballet just how much of every part of your body needs to be working together and coordinated yeah. that was awesome thank you yeah well, you did a great job. I was actually super impressed. <laughs> you, you did really well. Adeze, you must have taught your dad some things before. <laughs>